goes over there. Yeah. Come on in. We got an interest from one for y'all today. Get back into our Gnosticism a little bit. What's up, Desiree? I can share this one if you like. Uh, I, I share another group later. So I uh, other phone in the car. I left it. And it's out. What's up, Tars? Come on in. Come on in. What's up, David? What's up, Alexis? We'll give them another minute, y'all, and we'll get started. What's up, Johnson? How about we begin? How about we begin? Now, of course, the title of this lecture is called Y'all the Bull Spell. 616. Let's discuss uh, how the corrupt magic of the demon earth works. You see what I'm saying? So, Adam, now, let's, 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 let's talk, I want to clear up some things, you know. I want to clear up some things. You know, Dr. York came out some years ago with uh, the spell of Leviathan, which is 666. No, it's not Leviathan. I'll replace Ye Ye Leviathan with Yadabor. You see what I'm saying? And replace 666 with 616, which was the original number in the book of Revelation. Before they changed to 666 and decided to demonize our milk. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So let's, let's begin. Let me start off by saying who is Yadabor? Yadabor is what y'all know as the demon Ergos and the ruler of this material world. You see what I'm saying? Um... Where did he come from? Well, according to the, uh, the Gnostic teachings or the Gnostic mythos, um, Sophia, the god of Sophia, who was a ways away from the source of all, wanted to, you know, you know, start her own creation. She wanted to create. You see what I'm saying? Uh, you see what I'm saying? It was over Riv Young. Uh, they wanted to create. You see what I'm saying? Um, so what's happening here is. She decided to create without the permission of the source of all those primordial forces. And she produced a monstrosity in the form of Yadabur. If you never seen what he looked like, he a lion, he got a lion head with a serpent body, six wings, 
uh, and you know, you know, so 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 he was a monstrosity to her. So she hid him in his own uh, sphere of consciousness. When he grew up, he grew up thinking that he, he grew up thinking that he was the only God. You see what I'm saying? So since he grew up thinking that he was the only God, when um, uh, he started to create his world, the mater this material world that we live in. Uh, you know, once he finished up and started to create, you know, beings or vessels or whatever, uh, when he tried to create, they wouldn't come to life. What's up, Camlish? When he tried to create them, they wouldn't come to life. So, the source of all, the creator, discharged uh, light down from the other spheres of consciousness, uh, you know, throughout the Pleroma, which is the infinite mind down into this material world and that light entered the body of those beings and the beings came to life and um this light this this light uh divine light is known as divine spark or the soul as we call it the soul the rook as they call it in samaria the rook and when the soul got embedded this is when y'all the boys realized that there was other gods besides him and he snapped right because this guy, this primordial being, this primordial entity was able to do something that he couldn't. And so he flipped out. So what did he do? He created Archonic Generals, 12 in number. Uh, you know, 12 in number. He was the secret 13th sphere. You see, well, he, he created 13 generals, actually. Because uh, they, uh, but he hid the thirteenth general. You know, they say they always had this, uh, this 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 concept in the Hebrew Bible, which is his book. They always hide something. You see what I'm saying? This is metaphorical. Them hiding their secrets away from you. You see what I'm saying? Most of the time, when they're hiding something in the Bible, you see what I'm saying? So 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 that's what's going on here. Um, so there are 13 generals. You see what I'm saying? Uh, usually, you see them pre preside over the seven planets. Or, uh, you know, there, there's, there's lockdown numbers that they have, lockdown frequencies. Three, which is the trinity and the number of recycling and the third dimensional frequencies that they they are, are always working to keep you on. Then you have seven, which is the planetary forces that are in tune with your chakra system, which is why your chakra, you have to come out your chakra system. Uh, and they're using those energies to manipulate your chakra system to keep you locked down. You see what I'm saying? Then you have 12, which is the number of the Zodiac. The Zodiacs are also a, lock, a lockdown number. But the, but the hidden one, Yeah, I'm bad. Yeah, I interrupted it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. The, 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 this physical body is apparatus, a suit, or biotechnology that they have learned how to feed off of because they call them angels in the original story, but we know they don't, they don't, they're not really angels no more. They have transformed into celestial vampires after they found out uh, what uh, we were. You see what I'm saying? And how they sat back for a while to study what we would do with the vast box saddles. Well, Prince Eve, what's up, Marge? They 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 they, they said that you do the vast spark inside of us and you see how much we create it. And that's where the Tower of Babel story comes from. You know the Tower of Babel is your spine. You see what I'm saying? Your spine. And he came down out with this program, this this archive program that he had created and he said, I right, let me program this neo cortex inside of their bodies that will suppress the limbic system after we destroy the spine. You see what I'm saying? Or your connection to, or, or, or your kundalini force that empowers you. And then what happens after he did that? It, he confused the languages, separated the people, and, and separated the people and your internal forces, because this happened inside of you first, and said boundaries. Literally, he says this. He said, I said boundaries and limitations on them. Say that in the Tower of Babel story. Always and forever. So this is this is what y'all the boy did. See what I'm saying? And who what does y'all the boy represent? He represents the celestial ego. The celestial principle of edging God out or edging the source of all the primordial energies of all out of you. That's what it does. That's what it's programmed to do. 
You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what's going on here with this neocortex. And it, and inside of you, you have the neocortex, which is just some random computer that just popped up six to 12,000 years ago. And then you have your limbic system, which you've always had. That's your ancient mind, your God mind, or what these arcanic scientists call the primitive mind. You see what I'm saying? But primitive is just cold word for ancient. You see what I'm saying? So this is going on here with this with this with this Yala boy figure. You see what I'm saying? The demi urge. You see what I'm saying? Demi just mean half. You see what I'm saying? And an urge is what? An urge is what? A desire. You see what I'm saying? So he it says so, so they, they tell me what it means, half desire. See what I'm saying? And a half desire is just a motherfucker who just don't give a fuck. You see what I'm saying? Damn, you can't even your your desires can't even be you can't even behold this thing with your desires. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So you see what I'm saying? Have urge, you know, uh, have desire. You see what I'm saying? Because he was created, and the reason why he got that title because he was created with, without all of the teachings, without all of the energy, celestial forces and energies inside him. So he became had, and because it was an urge, you see what I'm saying? It was an urge. Uh, from the Sophia to produce him, that's where the name urge comes from. You see what I'm saying? It was a desire. It was a passion of hers. You see what I'm saying? So he became the he he, he became the half one, the half the, 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 the half urge or the half uh passion or the half uh desire. You see what I'm saying? Of of Sophia's soul. See what I'm saying? So 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 he's the corrupted he's the corrupted soul. He the corrupted ego. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Or, or a better way of saying it is, he is the corrupted idea of what the source of all wanted for his paroma, which is why the material world is so imperfect on such a level. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's going to always be a little imperfection, which represents chaos. You see what I'm saying? That's the chaos. And it is the middle and always creating. There's always some room for evolution and growth. But... Uh, this realm is nothing but imperfection, which is Im which is a whole other imbalance in and of itself. You see what I'm saying? What's up, catch you? So, so what you got going on here? So this is what this y'all the boy of energy is all about. So he came down, installed this arcane program inside us called the neocortex, and then he uh, and then he, and and he programmed to suppress our god minds, our limbic systems. You see what I'm saying? And from that point on, since how he kept us on the third dimensional frequency, he he would be able to feed on us. And what's more, he created a soul trap. And uh, and when you die, he created an astral portal, which is why they tell you in the Christian to go into the light. This astral portal, you go into the astral portal, you come right back down this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And uh, back, and, and you lock back down to the cycles of reincarnation. You see what I'm saying? So 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 he created he created a whole fucking uh, program here to keep us locked down here, and every time you uh, and every time you fall back down here, you will forget a little bit more of who you are because you haven't got a chance to go back to the 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 original primordial realms and recharge. You see what I'm saying? So this is what's going on here. This is what's going on here. You see what I'm saying? So that's what the spell is, and that's why six one six originated. Six one six equals thirteen. 13 is the number of the zodiac. You see what I'm saying? You got 12 zodiac, and then you got the 13th hidden zodiac, which is Ari, uh, which is what the Druids call Auriga, or Arachne, or the serpent holder, which is, 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 is if you ever seen the image of it, it's a, it's a circle with a serpent in it, and it's like strands all around the circle. Those are those. Are, they represent the time cell, the time prison, which you, which your uh, Kundalini energy is locked in. And it's up to you, the God and goddess, to go in to your uh, serpent chamber and stage their prison break, like Naruto did in uh, uh, in, in his particular anime. He had a he had that little uh, seal on his belly. That seal was Ophicus. You see what I'm saying? That y'all also know it as the name of that zodiac. That seal was Ophicus. You see what I'm saying? And he had to go in there and free his Kundalini energy, and that's when he became the enlightened one in the anime. So, so, so the Christos. See what I'm saying? See, 13 is still a lockdown number until you free your Kundalini. You stage that prison break. What's up, Brandon? So, 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 so definitely. 13 is still that lockdown, a, a lockdown number. Listen to me here. It's still a lockdown number until you stage that prison break uh, to free your Kundalini energy. Now, when your Kundalini energy gets free and it rises up your spine, 
back to your um through your up through your crown chakra back to your godhead and you become one with the source of all again now you free now you're the living christos you see what i'm saying now you back online you see what i'm saying so 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 i remember that the, the lockdown numbers are three for the trinity for 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 the third dimensional matrix and the cycles of re repetition and reincarnation seven because your chakra systems are are connected to the planetary the seven planetary spheres which are manipulating your energies and uh you know you got to come out of that then you got 12 which is the zodiacs which are connected to your 12 glands in your body and then those frequencies feeding up them you see what i'm saying so 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 that's what the zodiac zodiacal energies do and then you got the 13th which is the serpent Imprison your Kundalini serpentine energy in time. You see what I'm saying? It was a time prison. That's why when you wake up and you free your Kundalini energy, time speeds up because your Kundalini energy shatters the third dimensional time, uh, uh, the, 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 the corrupt third dimensional frequencies and time forces that was governing this vessel. And that's why your vibrations rise and you rise into higher dimensional frequencies after that. And, 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 you, and you be free of this, you know, program. You see what I'm saying? And now you become that Jedi master one. Thirteen. You see what I'm saying? Thirteen. You see what I'm saying? That's the final. That's the final level. You gotta break out. You gotta break your Kundalini energy out that time priest. I can't. I can't stretch that one enough. You see what I'm saying? I can't. I can't stretch that one enough. And a lot of people ask me why does y'all the boy hate us? He don't hate us per se. He hate what's inside of us, which is the divine spark or the divine soul, because he couldn't create that. That came from the source of all. You see what I'm saying? Because souls are their own creators in their own right because they self-will and self-generate themselves into existence at the behest of the primordial forces I wanted to become more of a creator than they already were. You see what I'm saying? So souls, rooks, came into it. Uh, uh, self-will to self-generate themselves into existence to do that particular job and that's what we get go forth and create from you see what i'm saying uh you see what i'm saying so these primordial forces or the source of all you know you know the source or what we call the source of poor mandrace they call it in uh in uh the nazi teachers poor mandrace is literally the uh personification of all primordial forces in existence operating as one single entity one single intelligence you see what i'm saying so 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 there you go there you go now uh you know uh let's see six uh yeah the number is not six 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 because that's the number of your carbon or melanin you see what i'm saying you, you see what i'm saying that's the number of your melanin remember that they demonize your melanin in the bible because when you see the number six 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 you would want to rebel against my six six but in actuality, the MK Ultra there is you're rebelling against your own melanin. You see what I'm saying? Now the number is six one six thirteen, where you start to rebel against they fucking this fucking matrix that they got you locked in. You see what I'm saying? This 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 matrix. What is a matrix? It's a, it's an operating system. That's all a matrix is. It's an operating system. But we all know that this operating system is fucked up and corrupt. So we we will stage not we 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 we'll make it plans to stage a prison break for first ourselves, our spiritual homies and homies, and finally the planet herself. You see what I'm saying? That's what we're in the process of doing, staging this prison break. You see what I'm saying? Then uh, we're gonna get all our powers. Uh, we, you can still practice now and get some of your abilities back now. You know, just by practicing them at this point. But uh, all your powers will come back once. Uh, you you fully fuse your high self and you get into your melanin monster energies and your melanin teachers and all that. Once once you start delving deep into these occult sciences and you start to practice these occult sciences, all your powers start to come back online anyway. You see what I'm saying? So you really don't have to wait if you don't want to. That's a choice. You see what I'm saying? You can 
go practice your diligence whenever you want to. You see what I'm saying? Who says who says you gotta wait for anything? You can go do it whenever the fuck you feel like it. So it's not Leviathan spell, six six six, it's y'all the boy spell, six one six, y'all. I can't stress that enough. And they showed you this in movies. Y'all know that, right? There's a couple of movies or two movies I want to let y'all know what they showed you. One at the turn of the millennium, uh, you know, where they showed you that this world is a lie. You see what I'm saying? That this world is is, is false. The first movie is the movie Equilibrium, if y'all remember that. Uh, that came out just out of the Matrix back in the day with uh, Tay Diggs and, uh, damn, what's the boy's name? Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yeah. And what was wrong with society? It was a post-apocalyptic world. And society, you know, they had they had cut themselves off from emotion but, uh, or the heart wisdom. So they wouldn't feel and they became autonomous. They became robotic. They became fucking uh, whatever other word. You see what I'm saying? They, became, they just became cold calculating corpses. You see what I'm saying? But uh, what happened was they had these uh, particular beings called clerics who would hunt those who still was connected to their emotions, right? You see what I'm saying? And they and you had you had one who was particularly gifted in what they call the intuitive arts. He he was he had his intuition still intact because he was a star seed. You see what I'm saying? So he went out one day and um, he was introduced to the cut he started to feel one day. And you supposed to take this serum to block you from feeling. You see what I'm saying? To block you from feeling. So he didn't take his serum one day, and that's when he began to wake up. And that's when he rebelled against the Matrix. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So that's a that's a great movie that you know how they locking you down. That that now equilibrium shows you what they want out of society, what they want you to become in the society. They don't want you to become a soul society. Like they showed you in the movie Green Lantern. They want you to become an archonic society. And that's what they showed you in the movie Equilibrium. You just a robotic, uh, you just a robotic, auto autonomic, fucking cold calculating machine who all they do is go to work and do what they're told. You see what I'm saying? No soul, no creativity, no passion, no will, no nothing. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? None of that. None of that. Then the second movie they came out with was The Giver that came out um, in the last decade. Now, The Giver was deep. Uh, you know, it started off, they was playing, having fun. You know, you watch movies, and you know, the movie started off too positive. You know, oh, it's, it's about to be some shit go down, because this shit too fucking positive. You see what I'm saying? And they having fun, they enjoying themselves, because it ain't no balance. It's always a balance of negative and positive energies. So, so what's up, T? What's up, Ashley? What's up, Sean T? So... So, so it, since it wasn't no balance of, uh, it wasn't no balance. You knew something was wrong just from how things were going. So, uh, one of the guys in the movie, he was introduced to pretty much the wizard, the magi of the of the age, and he gave him. This is why the movie called the Giver. He gave him the truth, the esoteric knowledge, and it woke him up. He realized that society was false. It was it was a false creation. And he realized also that the world had an edge to it. It was it was called the edge of the world. It's called the edge of the world. That we live in. in a, you remember those globes that they used to have, and it's just a plane inside of the globe. That's that's what a bad, that's what we living in. We living in a plane of existence with a barrier around us, an energetic barrier, a magical barrier, or a magical seal. And, and come find out, uh, we are in y'all the boy's mind. You see what I'm saying? We in y'all the boy's mind. And in his mind, we are his slaves. A lot of people think we in Earth's mind. No, Earth just woke up. So how we in her mind, she just woke up just like we just woke up. You see what I'm saying? So, so we in his mind. And this is his ideal world for us and his goons who are the archons. You see what I'm saying? You see, you see what I'm saying? And his whole objective and his archons' objective is to keep the day walkers the, 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 the star walkers, the soul walkers, sleep. You see what I'm saying? So they continue to feed off us. They, they create this material world. It's built like a planetary restaurant because they realize they can feed off your shine, your light, your glow. You see what I'm saying? And make them stronger. And the more they feed off you, the stronger they become, the strong, and the more they can do, the, the more they can do to keep you locked down in this material world. And that's what they did. That's what 
that they did. This is what's happening. So, 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 in the movie The Giver, he get he, he receives a series of lessons where they touch. It's just like in the movie, uh, in the TV show Dark Crystal, when they touched each other, they get, they they call it dreaming. You see what I'm saying? Well, they can see what uh, they can see each other's memories and shit. Well, it's the same thing. They touched each other uh, through psychometry, and he can see what the Elder Magi was showing him, and he showed him what the world really was. And there's always a Magi. There's always a Messiah or Christos uh, who, who's walking around with the information. And their job is to uh, um, uh, give the information to, uh, transfer the information to the next generation. You see what I'm saying? That's their job. And so he transferred it to him because he knew that he was going to be the one to break the system, break the matrix, destroy this shit, and free his people. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it, uh, and that's what he did. And it's a great movie. I go check it out. It's called The Giver. G-I-V-E-R. You see what I'm saying? The Giver. And then the other one was called Equilibrium with Christian Bale. So yeah, he gave him the knowledge. He gave him the science. And he went and he started to wake up everybody else in the group. He started to wake up everybody else, um, you know, when he gave them the notch. With a rain bay, he gave uh he he started to wake up um uh, and give everybody else the knowledge. And that motherfucker was like, What? And they realized that they were doing biological experiments on them. It's always in the movie they always give you some type of formula or chemistry. What's up with this? What they're telling you is you're ingesting their ideals. You see what I'm saying? That's what those formulas and uh, shit that you see uh, represent. What is a formula? It's a it's a it's a math problem, you know. It's a, uh, but it's in the liquid form. And what are you doing? You're ingesting their ideas in liquid form. And their idea is we want to keep you sleep and make you a slave, and we want you to be an automaton and robotic and sleep for the rest of your life. You see? That? And in that way, since you sleep, we can feed off you because you are on our frequency. But there's always that Magi, that Stasi, that Messiah, that Daywalker walking around this bitch with the sciences and they start to, and when, and when it's time, when the cycles begin to change, they start to give the information in mass. You see what I'm saying? So he gave it to old buddy. Old buddy woke up and old buddy started teaching everybody else and they started to wake up and realizing what the fuck was going on. And they start to free their world and shatter that motherfucker. And what did they use to keep people asleep? Of course, they use community. They use civilization. They use, uh, but they always told them. They But they always give them a boundary, a limitation. It's always the Tower of Babel story. We don't always give you a boundary or a limitation. You can't go but so far. You see what I'm saying? And at the edge of the world in this movie, they're telling you is, the edge of our dimension or our realm. And you can't go outside our realm because this is our fever. How dare you disrupt the program by leaving the program? The fuck kind of shit is that? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so what do we do here? How, how do you fight this? You see what I'm saying? How do you fight this? The only way you can fight this is through occult science, occult knowledge, meditation. You see what I'm saying? Um, you got you you can't fight this with external means. You got to learn to fight from within. You see what I'm saying? You got to learn to fight with your internal forces, with your internal powers, with your soul weapons. You see what I'm saying? What if I told y'all that we are angels, right? We are angelos, right? You see what I'm saying? Light guys, dark guys, avatars, and so on and so forth who incarnated down here. Well, what if I told you you came down here with your own shields? You came down here with your own magical armor. You came down here with your own magical weapon, lightsabers, and enchanted swords, and fucking axes and shit, and and and, and uh, photon rays and plasma weapons. Hell, you name it. Y'all came down here with advanced weaponry and mechanism to get the job done. You also came down here with your own martial arts manual living inside of you. So, in your internal dojos, in your meditation, you can tap into your own martial arts and learn your own natural rhythm and techniques, you see what I'm saying, and, and you can you can fuse your natural rhythm and techniques with the martial arts that already exist in the physical world and develop your own martial arts, you see what I'm saying, you see what I'm saying, so you came down here with all this, you came down here with advanced spell books inside of you, because you are your own Akashi Records, you came down here with advanced uh, books of alchemy, you see what I'm saying? Because so, you are your own formula, your your own mystical equation. You see what I'm saying? So you came down here with all this. You came down here with all this. And you this is what you use to fight 
the enemy. You see what I'm saying? You don't fight them motherfuckers with just this. They feed off this daily. So, so this gonna never, this ain't gonna never have enough energy to fight. No, you gotta fight from within your spirit, your soul, your mind, and project it through this apparatus. And first, you gotta free this apparatus energy field or electromagnetic field from that shit, breaking that shit. You you know, a, a good meditation is uh, to know how you being fed on is focus on your electromagnetic field around you, right? And you will notice that it's hooks in your electromagnetic field when you, when, when you start. And uh, you, if you pay attention to those hooks, you notice that there's energy uh, uh, being transferred through those hooks out into the universe. Where the fuck that energy going? You see what I'm saying? It's going to the archons. They're feeding off you. That's their hooks. That's their energetic tendrils that they're using to force drain you. You see what I'm saying? To drain you of your energy like Palpatine showed you in the movie. He what? He drained Ray and Kylo Ren. You see what I'm saying? Of their energy. And healed themselves and recharged themselves and regenerate themselves. They literally showing you in these movies what the fuck these archons are doing to you. And so a good way to break that is focus on your electromagnetic field and then you focus on shattering those energetic hooks. You see what I'm saying? Or, or, or uh, discharging those hooks out of your electromagnetic field. You see what I'm saying? And you don't notice, you, you should feel that your electromagnetic field has been freed of something. You see what I'm saying? All of a sudden, you get all your energy back and you just feel overwhelmed with energy. You see what I'm saying? Like, ooh, damn, where that come from? You get a surge of force that flows through you. Like, ooh, goddamn. You see what I'm saying? And now your inner, your electromagnetic field is free. And now you can go in your meditations and put a shield around you and your electromagnetic field and they won't be able to penetrate it anymore. You see what I'm saying? But you got to get them hooks out of you first. Those arcane hooks, those arcane tendrils that they're using to drain you or feed off your bioenergy field or your electromagnetic field first. Then you put that shield over you and then you just begin to uh, meditate, uh, uh, absorb chi from uh, both inside you and around you and store it up to recharge yourself. You see what I'm saying? Recharge your spirit and soul. Because it's not that y'all not skilled at what y'all do. Y'all just don't have the energy reserve to do it because motherfuckers is always feeding on you. You see what I'm saying? That's what I found out in my, uh, the people I talk. They already got the knowledge. They already got the wisdom. They already got the science and skill set. What they don't have is the energy reserve to do any of this shit. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? If you ain't got the energy, if you energy deficient, how can you empower anything? You see what I'm saying? How can a generator uh, feed electricity if it ain't got the energy to do it? If it's not empowered with uh, uh, with any form of energy. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, so, so there you go. Because this system is built off electricity. So everything here runs off electricity. So if we took away electricity, the system would die. Like they showed you with Electro and Spider-Man. He did what? He took back all his energy and this shit died. You see what I'm saying? He took back his force. He force drained this shit. Uh, yes, it, force drain works both ways. Just like they can drain you, you can drain their ass. You can take they, you can take your shit back from them. You see what I'm saying? You go outside and focus on nature itself and begin to summon the force in nature and absorb it back into you. You see what I'm saying? Recharge yourself. And because nature, you and nature are one and the same, nature feeds off you and you feeds off it and it creates a superconducting loop where y'all supercharge each other. You see what I'm saying? So that's what's going on here. But you got to get them fucking hooks out of you. And not just energetic hooks from the energetic fucking archons or the celestial vampires. You may have some hooks from your family members and your friends and all the motherfuckers just dead weight holding you back as well. Don't forget that shit too. Don't forget that as well. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So, so, so yes, there's a way to free yourself from y'all the boy's spell. But I uh, believe it or not, there is a way. You see what I'm saying? The occult sciences all, have already provided a way. The, the only way is to uh, break or shatter their control or get those hooks out of you that they are using to feed uh, out of you. And usually you will know if you if, if you got the eyes to see and you look at your electromagnetic field, there's hooks all around that goes all the way into the ground because they're feeding on you 360 degrees. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? And you blow those hooks, you use, your, you use your force to blow those hooks out of your electromagnetic field, it becomes free. 
But you see what I'm saying? And you get your energy back. You're going to feel like a, a reservoir of energy just will up inside you because you got your chi back. You got your life energy back now. And now you can sit down and cultivate that energy and begin to grow again. And begin to become all powerful. The true and living crystal. And with this energy, of course, you can now manipulate the environment. The reason why you, couldn't, you can't manipulate the environment, number one, because your spirit forgot how. Because, you know, due to, you know, being sweet uh, for so long. That, that, that's one good reason. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Uh, that, 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 that's one good reason there. Yeah. Let, me, let me show. Uh, yeah. So, uh, that, that you, 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 you've been, you know, you've been sweet for so long that you just forgot. You, you ain't never, ha you find getting your energy back, cool, but you forgot the applications of how to do it. You see what I'm saying? You know, you take your paper, you know, I, I made videos of you, you sending out that chi, that chi force, boom. You see what I'm saying? Knocking that paper down. Let me see here. Let me see here. You know, take your little piece of paper, you know, you know, can y'all see it? Cool, 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 cool. And then you just, you just use your energy. You just, you see what I'm saying? You just, see what I'm saying? You just, you just use it. You just use your energy. You see what I'm saying? You just move it around till you knock it down. You see what I'm saying? You get used to it. You got to use your spirit. This is spiritual boxing, spiritual force. You got to learn to use that spirit. You see what I'm saying? You got you to do that. You got you to get it in for a while. See what I'm saying? Till you, till you get it right. Till you get it right. Just try different applications for it. See what I'm saying? Till you get it right. And after a while, you don't notice that your energy begins to build up. Your force begins to build up because uh, just like you, 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 you lift weights and everything to build up your physical body, with uh, exercises like this, builds up your energetic muscles, your spiritual body. Now, it becomes easier. See what I'm saying? At first, I was struggling. Now, because due to repetition, due to my body, you know, tapping in, I can move it now. You see what I'm saying? My body remembers that I can do shit like that. I can do that cheap projection. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So there you go. Just some ideas to, to, for you to work with. See what I'm saying? Just cheap projection techniques. Just to show your spirit. Just to remind your spirit that it can be done. You see what I'm saying? Just, 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 so just, just, just sit there, take your piece of paper, and just work at it. Just work at it. Just, just, just send your energy out. Just breathe. You see what I'm saying? Just breathe. It's just you. It's just you doing doing what you do. Use your force. You 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 a Jedi master. So be the Jedi master. And all the way you be a Jedi master, they tell you in Star Wars, the, the lightsaber is not our primary weapon. The force is our primary weapon. And like anything, you must fucking learn to use your force. That's see, you gotta practice that. And I get that's why I gave y'all this exercise. You you gotta practice. You, you see what I'm saying? You gotta practice that. That's the only way you're going to get better. You see what I'm saying? Harness your chi. Because a lot of people ask me that all the time. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? A lot of people ask me that all the time. Like, how, how, Marlon? How do I, how do I tap into my chi? Practice. You need, but you just need a method to do it. This is a good method for it. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Just a good method. You, you, that, that, that's all you need is the method. A catalyst to remind your spirit that it can because your soul already know it can be done when you watch Star Wars and you see the force and shit what your, what your soul said what, what you feel you feel that warm sunny light feeling in your heart chakra that's your soul telling you that it can be done problem is your spirit has forgotten that it can be done so what you do what you do you take a little piece of paper and you just practice and where I learned this technique if y'all if y'all was curious I learned it from uh, the Kung Fu movie 36 chambers of Shaolin. Remember when the monk, he was talking shit to the monk, and the monk just discharged that energy. Boom! And that, and that motherfucker went flat across the room. <laughs> the, uh, the yard. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so when he did that shit, I was like, damn. So I, I started practicing it, and that's how I learned it. So, because everything in the movies now, all the secrets in the movie. So, so, so they, they showing you in the movies, like, nah, nah, get it in. So once you remind your spirit that you can do this, 
you all of a sudden feel like like Obi Wan told you in Star Wars, you start to feel like you're entering a much bigger world because you're starting to transcend into the Force now, and now the abilities that you once coveted, that you once had, starts to come online. You see what I'm saying? Now you're a monster. See what I'm saying? Now, now, now you can boom. You see what I'm saying? Boom. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so your energy, your energy explode with key and chi. And he be like, damn, yeah, damn. And now fucking trees is moving when you walk down the street. Why the fuck trees move? Because they, they, they feel you now. See what I'm saying? They feel you. I tell y'all the story of the night. I uh, forget the name of the night. Hell, uh, Guinevere is one of the motherfuckers. We're going to take Guinevere this time. Hell, it's a night every time I tell this story. Hell, Guinevere, uh, you know, uh, he rolled up on, he rolled up, you know, he was, they were searching for the Holy Grail, and he rolled up on the lake. Uh, you know, he's riding a boat. And when he got, when he, when he, when, when he got off the boat on the island, it was two big nasty lines waiting for his ass. Two big nasty lines, y'all. So, 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 of course, naturally, him being a warrior, the greatest swordsman in the fucking city, in the, in the country, he whipped out his sword. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? He started putting in work. Or he thought he was about to put in work into what? His inner self kicked in like, nigga, what you doing? Put that shit up. Put that shit up. He was like, what? Uh, yeah, put that shit up. Tap in. Go within yourself. And so, you see this X a lot. Genetic activation into your supernatural powers. Also, the perfected man and woman. The perfected God and goddess. That's what the X represents. He began to chant. He began, he began, to, uh, uh, he began to tap in. You see what I'm saying? While he was chanting, his force erupted out into the environment. And now the lion's are like, oh. We we feeling that oh oh what what what, that, what what was that all this what, what was that what was that what was that God force that God frequency that I'm feeling all along it was sweet because he wasn't using it so when they felt that shit and he just and his inner self just told him to walk and the lines just looked at him he just walked right past the lines and that that that's what the teaching is you see what I'm saying and also it's a Kundalini story the the line on the left was the uh the the yin the yin Kundalini or the Ida Pingalis, uh, I mean the Alanatis or energy uh, energy pathway, and the line on the right was the um, Pingala or the Yum uh, Kundalini on the right side of your spine, and he walked through the middle, which is the Sushumna Nadis, which is the uh, middle pathway of your spine. You know where your spine is at, and you know he because he awoke in this Kundalini energy, and he walked, and he was the first person to see the grill. He didn't get the grill, but he seen the grill. So he made it to his third eye because he awoke. You see what I'm saying? So it's a very fucking powerful story. You see what I'm saying? So 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 definitely, definitely tap in, y'all. Tap in. You can only uh, I, I I that's why I tell you, I advise you to fucking practice your abilities now. She hell. Don't wait till later. You know we've been waiting. Look where it got us. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Go ahead and start practicing your ability so you can start awakening this in it, awakening these uh, 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 forces inside of you. You see what I'm saying? This force inside of you. You see what I'm saying? You begin to remember who you are. You see what I'm saying? Because your spirit, like, oh, that's what I forgot. That's why I have a hard time uh, practicing telekinesis and shit because I forgot how to do it. You remember, you've been asleep for. Uh, 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 two thousand, a thousand years around this motherfucker. So she, you been asleep, or at least going to a down cycle, of falling asleep. So she, you been, you been asleep for a thousand years. You see what I'm saying? So, so now you waking up from that thousand year slumber, and, and you cranky and grumpy. So you got, you got to dust yourself off, clean out, clean yourself off a little bit, and bring yourself back online and become, uh, so you can start to work to become the guy that you are. The guys and guys that you are around this motherfucker. So there y'all go. There y'all go. There's this, this uh, y'all the boy spell 616. How to defeat that shit. How to come up out of it. Ascension always. And the best way to us seeing is to end scene. You got to go within. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You got to go inside you and get to learn yourself. You know, you got to sit with yourself so you can learn from yourself so that yourself can tell you where it is and learn to know thyself. And then you eventually evolve into your best self, which is God and God is on earth. You see what I'm saying? The master. Yes, they said. So there y'all go. There y'all go. Any questions?
in questions. Brandon. Brody, I moved a shot glass of whiskey in it a couple of inches across the table on my birthday weekend, telekinetically. Unfortunately, I was the only one who saw it. That's all that matters. You don't really need to see it. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See, a lot of these fucking archons in the flesh want to see your ability so they can feed off you while you're using those abilities because you open yourself up to the force and start to absorb their force energy and they want to feed off that. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? They already working against you. They already rooting against you anyway. So that's negative energy towards you. So it ain't about showcasing your abilities to fucking society. Uh, you know, I showed y'all the elementary ability, but, you know, that ain't shit. You see what I'm saying? But you you, uh, you don't have to showcase all of your ability to society. You see what I'm saying? If you don't want to, that's your choice. And you see what I'm saying? You best believe you better be on your shit because once they see you can't do it or you having an off day or some shit, they're going to they gonna mock you to the, to the day you die around this motherfucker. So, yes. So, yes. So, I only, only, only show your abilities amongst your peers or amongst the chosen ones. You see what I'm saying? Or ones who who have chosen to uh, even be curious. The fact that you're even curious in fucking psychic abilities lets you know that you're something you 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 on you on you on uh, a whole other level around this motherfucker. The fact that you even curious about it, understand it. You see what I'm saying? Understand it. You that that means there's a mystic living inside of you, and it's trying to get your attention because it's trying to train you in the mystic arts like they train Dr. Strange and any other fucking magical master out here so best believe this is how you break y'all the boy's spell the 616 the 13 you see what I'm saying you yeah, become a living Christos you see what I'm saying see what I'm saying and I'm gonna break them all down three is the trinity or the number of recycle seven is fucking the chakra system your rainbow matrix that they are feeding off of and keeping you locked down and it's also a matrix of limited light then you got 12 which is the zodiac feeding off your 12 anatomical glands which is always keeping you drained because your glands are storehouses of power in your physical body you see what i'm saying so 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 then you got 13 the secret one the the the, the serpent holder the gatekeeper of your fucking kundalini energy so best believe, best believe. Then you got, uh, you know, 33 degrees, what they talk about in masonry, which is your 33 vertebrae on your spine. When, when, once you rise up your 33 vertebrae, you become the enlightened one, the true and living mason, the builder. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? The grand architect of the universe who, who, who can build the world with his left hand and write out creation with his right hand. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all go. There y'all go. Any questions? They will bring the house. Must get acquainted with you again. Play around with them. There you go. So, yeah, protect yourself, people. Magical self defense. from within if that motherfucker's telling you that you need to learn how to fight and go to war and they teach you you know magical self-defense you need to walk away from the motherfuckers cam stamps do i have any videos on chakras yes yes you go to my youtube channel and go to my playlist and uh it's in the end by it's in the energy body series or the guide by the series i think that's why i called it so yeah Catch you as one of the elements so along with electricity you can move things. Is this what you're saying? Yes. You can you can manipulate the elements, you can manipulate time, you can 
telekinetically move objects. You can project your chi out of you, like I just showed you. You can do so much shit. It's limitless. You see what I'm saying? Your powers are limitless. Fly, all that, all that shit. Teleport, all the things that they say you can't do, and they make it their business to tell you you can't do it to to shut you down. And it's hard. It's hard to. It's hard not to believe them because ain't nobody else doing it in this world, in this realm, or that you can, that you know of. So, so, so that that's the MK Ultra there. They know there ain't nobody else doing it. So when they tell you that you can't do it, then it's easier for you to accept the programming because you ain't seen nobody else do it. But nah, nah, you got you got a soul in you. You got a source intelligence inside of you that say that says otherwise. You see what I'm saying? Like nah, you a monster. And don't forget that shit. And a monster's nothing but a being of terrifying and wondrous power. Alexis, should we practice breaking our energy cores from the archives more than one? Practice that shit until you feel your energy come back to you. You see what I'm saying? Once you once your energy come back to you, you know you will you were successful. It may it may happen in that morning, it may happen later on in the day. But yeah, once your energy come back to you, you know you you, you succeeded with that, that practice, that exercise. You see what I'm saying? What's up, Rock? So, any other question? There you go, Desiree. Meditation is the key. Before I get up out of here. All right. Y'all have no other questions from Marvin Jones. Y'all share this with your friends, put the word out there. Check out my other lectures on uh, my other code lectures on my YouTube channel, The Melanie Water. Is in of course it's in the title screen. Y'all wanna check it out there. And I'm out. Peace.